Jeremy Vine was last week suspended from Twitter for breaking the social media site's hateful content rule during a spat over a cycle lane campaign. The Radio 2 host and Channel 5 broadcaster named a woman campaigning against the West London cycle lane near his home. The cycling enthusiast was reported by members of the public over the road due to naming the woman on his account. Reports also suggest the BBC has become concerned over the 57-year-old Zandi motorist posts. The broadcaster has allegedly questioned whether Jeremy's posts could be in breach of its impartiality rules. A BBC source stated, Vine, hasn't been reined in but it is becoming an issue and has certainly been noted by some of the executives. Speaking to Mail Online, they added, The view is very much watch this space. It comes just months after Gary Lineker was temporarily dismissed from BBC's Match of the Day for posting anti-government tweets. Don't miss! Joan Collins' appearance leaves GMB viewers incredibly distracted. Reaction, Immerdale's Nikki Milligan's mum exposed as fans work out return, spoiler, Paul O'Grady's last bit of filming for BBC show he wasn't fan of, latest, while Gary was eventually placed back on the popular sporting show following a strong response. It seems the corporation is now looking into whether Jeremy's published opinions go against the rules. The Channel 5 star's banning from Twitter came last week when the social media giant explained he had broken rules. A spokesperson from Twitter stated, We locked at Jeremy Veen's account for breaking our hateful content rule. We found they broke our hateful content rule through different reports we received about their behavior. The Andy Cycling Group, one Chizik, was slammed by Jeremy as it called for the removal of a dangerous cycle lane. A BBC insider also told Mail Online, Jeremy is aware of his duty under the BBC's social media guidelines, 